I was like super scared because you know like mm, intimate scenes and uh, kissing and stuff with a guy you didn't even know you you never met so I was really scared but then when I when I saw Federico I was like okay this is a, a really nice dude we can do <laughs> we can do amazing things together and we tried to do that and I hope you enjoy that <laughs> Would you have thought that Scum Italia would get such a wide and positive response if you also get that your own panel here? Wow, no. I mean, I, I, I wasn't expecting all this. I mean, uh, a lot of people told me, yeah, Scum Italia is a, is a very nice uh, remake. I mean, uh, uh, a lot of people love it. But I was like, ah, all right, let's do this. And it's a nice thing to do. Let's see what happens. And then, whoa, people like texting us on Instagram and uh, Twitter and all the craziness that, that, that followed. It was, it was not expected, but we liked it so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree with Rocco, yes. In, uh, at the beginning, we, we didn't believe that all these people uh, would interest in our work because uh, also because there's this original scam and the original scam is so great, so uh, it was difficult to um, compare it with them. So, uh, but all the uh, love, all the positivity, all the message that uh, you sent to us is uh, is heart melting. Because uh, I love you all, and uh, <laughs> we are we are a community, a family, and we feel part of it, and uh, it's beautiful. very very vulnerable and uh, of course I believe Evan is of course vulnerable too but yeah I believe vulnerability is the key word that I found for my character and I really identified so much with that specific thing you know like, like my character smiles a lot but it's like a surface then like within there was a lot a lot of broken things that I that I liked to 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 bring to the show, you know, uh, later on, and uh, yeah, that's that's the main thing for me about my character, vulnerability, and it was beautiful to portray it as an experience. Yeah, uh, for my character, I think that um, Isaac uh, the Martino is uh, a little bit um, more interest maybe, and I think because. Uh, we are Italian, so <laughs> we express ourselves at one hundred percent. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's difficult for us to keep uh, our um, our um, our feeling inside. So uh, and I think also that um, Martino take less time to uh, accept. Um, his sexuality, because uh, maybe from the uh, one of the first time you see Nicolò, he, he also thought, oh, what a good guy, what a what handsome guy, and then focus on him all the time, and uh, don't 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 worry uh, so much as Isaac about his sexuality. That I think that's the main difference. <laughs> Non parlare italiano, scusi. That was my own sentence. Uh, how would you say uh, to compare? I'm from Denmark and we're from Norway. We see ourselves as quite liberal during uh, towards LGBT. Is it difficult to portray a love story between two guys in Italy? More difficult to do it 
than, than uh, what we see here in, in Scandinavia, you can all three uh, vote in on that. Um, especially because when I see Scandinavia, I see that, that also Filippo's speech is more is more strong than Eskil's speech is. Uh, so it's, it's like, okay, it's, it's actually uh, more difficult to be uh, a gay guy, a LGBTQ guy in, in Italia. And that, that kind of touched me compared to what we've seen in, in, in the weekend's now. Well, I believe that um, still nowadays, unfortunately, like LGBT people and LGBT rights are always at risk. So, like so often, lesbians, gay people, uh, transgender, they're not understood and uh, they're like mocked or they're like bullied and uh, I think everywhere in the world, maybe in some countries it's more, in some other countries it's less, but um, it's really important to stand out and, uh, and show like a genuine, spontaneous love between two guys because the, the, there's, really, there's really nothing wrong about it and the world needs to see it, needs to know about that because, for example, in our country, uh, unfortunately, quite often, gay characters are portrayed in a stereotypical way. So, you know, they're funny or they're like very extravagant and there's nothing wrong about that, but not all gay people are like funny and extravagant, they, they don't like wear furs all the time, or like uh, <laughs> purple shoes, or like, I don't know, uh, this kind of things, you know? So it's, it's important to show how normal it is. So to normalize it, I think it's, it's really important. I, uh, I would ask the help of Alisa because I, uh, I feel that I need to express clear myself about the question, so, okay. Okay, okay. Allora, um, per me uh, non è stato difficile rappresentare, cioè non è stato difficile eh, rappresentare, prendere, prendere la responsabilità di rappresentare un personaggio appartenente alla comunità LGBT, Beh, anzi io sono fiero di averlo fatto perché un paese come l'Italia ha bisogno di, di scam, cioè tutti in Italia de devono vedere scam, perché quel, il discorso che dice Filippo nella serie è vero ragazzi, cioè è, è la realtà purtroppo italiana e io penso che nel 2018 la gente veramente de debba darsi una svegliata, forse c'è il discorso di Emma nonostante, nonostante sia sbagliato, nonostante sia, sia una, una frase detta in modo inappropriato, siamo, siamo nel 2018, ognuno deve amare liberamente perché l'amore è, la è la cosa più bella del mondo, è la cosa più bella che ci possa capitare, quindi non... non perché, perché eh, odiare una cosa così bella? Perché riversare odio su questa cosa? Non, non ha alcun senso. Quindi, sicuramente è più, diffi è, è, è più difficile in Italia, che, eh, ma sicuramente ha un, spero abbia un impatto maggiore. It's a lot of of responsibility, because it's a really, really, really good thing, so I hope I make it proud. Um, he said that it, it was difficult to, it, it actually wasn't difficult to do something like that, because he was very proud to be able to show that kind of things in Italy, because uh, as he said, like, it, it, like, like Italy needs come right now, as Filippo says in his speech, it's really difficult to find for people in Italy, but all over the world, like, to be who they are. And it's really important to just show that this is a reality and this is how things they are. And people need to grow out of it and just can accept what it's like. So like Emma's, when Emma said to Martino, like, it's 2012, it's 2018, <laughs> yay, it's 2018 and you need to accept who you are and people, like, like, people don't care if you're gay. Like, that's wrong in some way, but at the same time, it's kind of true because it's really 2018 and people need 
to understand that things go their way and it's natural and it's good. And why do you need to hate something that is good and something that is love? You can't put hate and love in the same sentence. Yes, there's definitely a long way to go. Um, but I think that's one thing that's interesting about uh, the character Evan, that they, well, it's written in that way that they're taking up two subjects of uh, prejudice at the same time. And at the same time showing that, well, they're just normal guys in love. What's the big deal? And I think we we all as people have a prejudice uh, in a way of uh, making ourselves safer. It's a way of uh, I think it's deep within to survive, and um, it's something that we should have um, left behind maybe hundreds of years ago when we didn't need this prejudice. Um, because we don't really, um, because nothing good comes out of it at all. Uh, bad things is going to happen uh, anyways. So prejudice, prejudice is just making the hate and the differences turn and affecting us in a negative way and affecting our whole world. Um, and we have to remember that it isn't always ourselves that choose our prejudice. It's often chosen for us by either the society, religion, uh, friends, uh, parents. So I think we should all be very aware of what we choose to decide and what we choose to have opinions about because There's not always there's not always a good reason and you don't even know why and this is for everything. But I think it's important for us as humans to be involved in uh, deciding for ourselves uh, not being a part of something. Uh, of course being a part of something but being a part of it with your head and uh, and choosing for yourself. Because I think there's a lot of people that the choices are being made for them and that's safe for them. Uh, and of course, I understand that. But if we're going to move somewhere as a race, we have to like move past this prejudice because it's not taking us anywhere. It just makes hate really. Another philosophy I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, for Harry, uh, did you watch Scandania? And if you did, did you like it? And like, if you... I haven't seen it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, I haven't had the time. Uh, I was supposed to see it before this, <laughs> but a lot of things happened I didn't get the time for. I've heard it's the best remake. Is that so? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I'm just believing these guys. I, I really feel, even though I haven't seen it, I really feel that your head is in the right place. And I'm certain that you portray Isaac and Evan in the most respectful and uh, most talented way. And I have so much understanding that uh, doing a character that's already been done 
is scary as shit. <laughs> of course, and I, I can't even imagine how it is. But I really respect uh, that you did it, and that you uh, that you did it in your own way, because you, you already know about this whole fan base and how they had a picture of Isaac and Evan, so there was a lot of pressure, there's no <laughs> doubt about it, and I think you handled it very well. Are your feelings about that? Like the first time that you heard that oh, yeah. there are going to be remains? Yeah, uh, it was kind of a mixed, mixed emotions. Uh, because at that point I understood that Scum had reached all over, through borders like Mariana was talking about earlier. And uh, I didn't see the point of making another show when uh, a lot of people from that country had already seen the show. Uh, so I was like, well, I like, the, I like the thought of making the scum setting, but how is this going to work in Italy? Because even though humans are humans, we don't have the same uh, youth culture as you do. So I was like, well, is this going to work? Because you know, Scum was based upon a lot of interviews with uh, teenagers, and I was kind of uh, um, scared that it was going to be like a copy, because I, like Prejudice, definitely, I was like, well, how can they do it differently? Uh, so I started thinking more about it, and I understood that the message could be delivered in a more powerful way in your own country or in your own language. Um, so my views of it has changed in a year. Um, but uh, I really see that it's, uh, it's so positive that people are still watching all of the series, the Italian, the French, and uh, kind of experiencing something different every time. It's not the same experience. What I was afraid that was it was going to be. Because that, it, if it was the same experience, if we're going to see this change show 15 times, it was going to be like, why the hell can't you just translate it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, subtitles. So, it was, it was uh, so important that uh, the producers and the actors of every show try to make it their own, because we didn't want it to be a copy of what we made. We wanted to see what a uh, love story is like in Italy, or in, uh, in uh, Belgium, or if you know what I mean. Uh, so it's become more of a phenomenon, uh, phenom what's it called? Phenomenon. 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 Um, then, uh, then like a classical remake, it's, uh, it, it's something that has really set the tone of our youth and our uh, culture and age. Uh, so I think this is so interesting to watch and see how uh, uh, these shows are so successful and they're so doing so well. It's uh, amazing, really. I'm, I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what you mean. So one of my favorite things about Scam Italia is like the beautiful settings in which everything's filmed. So my question is, what are your favorite places that you filmed? Is it filmed in Rome? Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> if you I'm gonna see you. <laughs> Okay. Um, I think my third place is uh, the, the the futuristic house where we shoot uh, the scene of the with Martino and Filippo um, with a speech about the pride uh, because I think that is the, the most strange place I've ever been. Yeah, uh, is uh, um, 
abandoned place, but it's uh, kind of uh, 70 uh, futuristic views of an, uh, an Italian house, and it's, it's very strange. It's all uh, it's all squares and. Um, <laughs> he has different shapes, like if they build in different shapes as squares and syllables, so it's pretty nice. Yeah, it's very strange, and there, there aren't any bad. Yeah. <laughs> well, my third set uh, belongs to a scene that hasn't been aired yet. <laughs> but I can tell you this much I really hated the school. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, yeah, like as a location because it was, I don't know, it was so wait. hot. Yeah, yeah. so hot. Yeah. Place. Yeah. But uh, I think I think um, one of the cool things about the settings is that uh, all like the main famous buildings like the Colosseum and whatever they are more on the background. They're not like you know uh, stereotypically. Uh, you know, in the in the front, they're just you know on the background. So you, I don't know. I think it's a cool thing. Yeah, I liked it. So. Question. <laughs> <laughs> no. I want to ask Fede and Robert about um, the others. Have you have you ever seen any other version? Just the Norwegian. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and I liked it a lot. <laughs> I would like to see uh, some other remakes, but by now I've seen just the Norwegian. That's not a remake. <laughs> <laughs> But I think that something that 
is uh, spreading all around the world. I don't know the. I I can I can tell the reason, but I think that it's it's something real common all over the world, and also in Italy is is the same. But I think we're really getting better at that point. I mean, uh, you know, I don't think gay uh, like gay love is is that much of a problem for religious people as it used to be. For sure, there, there are some people like complaining and saying awful things, but uh, I think it's less than it used to be, and that's a good thing. But have you guys received any hate or any negativity? I need love. Oh, yeah, so far. <laughs> that's right. Share the rest of your beer conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see, uh, me and Rocco here. Yeah, yeah. We don't have beer. Uh, <laughs> Problem, guys, especially in Italy, because everyone's got a beard, <laughs> and I don't. You need a beard to be <laughs> <tired>. <laughs> <laughs> so Many people like mistake me for like English or French sometimes. I'm like, I'm Italian. And it's like when I go like uh, to buy cigarettes or alcohol, they're like, "Oh, can I can I see your ID?" And I'm like, "I was 18 seven years ago." <laughs> I mean, come on, but thank you. I got great hair. <laughs> My question is for everyone. My question is for everyone. Um, if you ever have kids, will you tell them about Scott and will you maybe watch it with them? <laughs> I just realized I'm going to have kids one day. <laughs> and I, I'm going to have to explain this. How? Uh, no, I don't know. We'll see. But of course, if I. <coughs> when and if that happens, um, of course, I think we all are, are very proud of uh, being a part of this and. Uh, I hope, uh, well, I think we all hope that this can influence the world in a good way. And uh, of course, I, would, I think we all would tell our children, we would be so proud. Short pictures, look here, with one fan, and this is with the other fan. And they're going to be like, Dad, how many times are you going to show us the pictures? <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be proud. What do you think, guys? Kids. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I haven't planned any kids now, but I, I'm sure I would like to have a kid someday. And yeah, of course, I will tell them about scam. I will, I will force them to watch it. <laughs> if they uh, will want to watch it, I will be very glad to show them uh, because I'm, I'm quite happy to be part of this of this beautiful family, and I think we'll all doing a beautiful job, so why not? Yeah, yeah, I agree with Rocco. Yeah, uh, it will be, will be cool to see Scow with my, my kids. <laughs> in 10 years. Uh, yeah, no, uh, oh, yeah. In, in 10 years, what? Maybe, maybe 15. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it will be cool. Uh, maybe I will say, uh, you know, you recognize your father? <laughs> You don't? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's cool. Uh, Just watch it with, see if they recognize you first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're gonna ask something like, Dad, what about Mom? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very complicated. <laughs> and that's, uh, how no, it's not complicated at all, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, there's 
there's going to be a lot of things to explain. <laughs> This girl, Ilse, is the cutest girl on earth. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's so sweet. Oh my god, she covered us with gifts, with chocolate, with things from uh, from uh, the Netherlands, right? And uh, this beautiful fan book, she's so sweet. Oh my god. I think you're gonna love the clip. Yeah, when when Evan goes to uh, when Isaac like kicks everyone out because Evan is coming after the, the fight. Oh, they haven't aired that. Yet. Yeah, no. not yet. Okay, so you're in season two now. Yeah. Wow. Episode seven. Interesting. <laughs> I think I know who's gonna ask. <laughs> Can I have a question? Yes. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry. Because I heard that you're airing uh, the what do you call it? Piccolino. Piccolino. Yeah. Like the. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's it called? It's so small and tiny. <laughs> no, no, no. But like your, um, like your, the ship name. Oh, Nicotino. Nicotino. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not <laughs> uh, so, uh, do you know why they decided to air uh, the this season um, in that order instead of doing the whatever season first? Do you have any thoughts? Do you know? It's a little bit of a mystery. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I can I can guess yeah. as much as you can do. Yeah. So I guess the time was right to talk about uh, LGBT rights, probably, yeah. and to show gay love because of many reasons, probably also political reasons. So yeah, I think my opinion. That that's my opinion. Yeah, sure for that, and also because our director, um, I think he will give the uh, continuity to uh, at the end of the first season of Scan One uh, um, yeah. that ends with uh, Martino and Giovanni and uh, discovery of um, the the gay hub. Gay, gay, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> gay hub. Uh, and then we want to continue that line. I just understand that I have to watch it. I have to now, of course. <laughs> yeah, sorry. No, no problem. I have a question for the uh, uh, You already had an image of Isaac and Evan, and you might have watched the original. Was it, is it difficult for you to um, make your own version and um, did it, was it easier to, to bond with the other class members because they are all also very through this with, and we all have to outside to live up to the scum height? Honestly, uh, talking about like doing it and the difficulties, um, whatever, uh, like from my point of view, from my point of view, it wasn't, it wasn't that difficult, honestly, because, I mean, we just did it, we went through it. You know, we, we weren't asking ourselves about ourselves anything. We were just going straight on and hoping that everything would, would you know, end up all right. And that's what we did. And um, that's life. That's life, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Well, I believe that's yeah, yeah, that's a good way to face life. But um, yeah, the hype, the hype was a little bit of a, 
it caused a little bit of anxiety. I was like, wow, you know, uh, scam, Norway is like, Norway scam has, has a lot of, you know, love and everyone, everyone, like in Scandinavia, it was probably more watched than Game of Thrones, and Game of Thrones is like my favorite TV show ever, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is huge, how can we do this? And then we did it. <laughs> Okay, yeah, obviously I agree with Rocco, I think that um, I, I had a lot of problems at the beginning with uh, to face the uh, representation of these uh, yeah, Italian Isaac and Devon, because uh, <laughs> Isaac and Devon are Isaac and Devon, so it was difficult uh, with uh, characters with the same line, the, the uh, history line, to uh, make something different. Um, so we, um, the only way to do that is to uh, create um, a bond with uh, with Rocco and to trust uh, um, each other, and then go in scene and try to uh, reach the um, the good chemistry to to make the um, an hour scene, an hour version of the scene. And I think that's the only way to put all yourself in the character and don't, and don't try to copy the original character so because you know, in that case it will be a bad copy. Because that, that's not natural for you. No. Totally. What is natural for you? What is love for you? Yeah. That's okay. 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 Here time for one more question. Hi again. And, uh, so
instead of that, that when they act sometimes they don't realize that they're doing stuff so they just act naturally like natural like teenagers in Italy so sometimes they do something and then they read online and that's and someone says oh that's so Italian right? that's Italian culture and so like they didn't realize at the moment when they were filming Okay, so we have time for one, one more question. Okay, yeah. So this is the question, okay? Um, to Federico and Marco, how did the casting happen? Did you know uh, that you were playing a gay couple? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I know I know the, um, the character development of Martino uh, just before uh, the start to film the, the season one and the, ca the casting uh, uh, I met uh, a lot of guy uh, but I, I I told this story before that uh, Rocco arrives to the casting and um, in the in the scene uh, he had to um, roll a joint uh, with tobacco and uh, he uh, he was shaking, he was shaking a lot, he was a lot nervous. Uh, so he spread all uh, the tobacco around the table, he made a mess. Uh, I, I uh, thought, this is the guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, we, knew, we knew about um, what we were going, uh, what we were about to, to do. We knew it was a, a gay, a gay couple. And we knew about, it. we knew it was a gay love, um, and yeah, we. I just, I just went to the casting, and the first thing that the director told me is that uh, we're not looking for a stereotypical gay character. We're looking for something uh, different, and uh, I, I did my best. And it went well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, huge thank you to our boys up on the I'm sorry I was so busy with this chewing gum. Uh, <laughs> what did you say? Just a few closing words. Uh, just, you know, experience here and today, stuff like that. Are we finished? We are. <laughs> well, well. Well. The panel's not finished. Yes. You're not finished. Uh, <laughs> you, you're still going to stay here for a couple hours. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was so nice to do this in my hometown. And with uh, producers that I know from before, and uh, producers that that has been to conventions, and that's what I feel uh, a lot with this convention right now is the mood and the it's like a big family meeting again. I think, and uh, we have a lot of time, and I really enjoy that because I really want to have time to meet you and uh, listen to what you have to say, have a conversation and uh, I'm so thankful that we were given the uh, time and opportunity to do this and, uh, and also it's perfect and uh, you're perfect as always, so thank you so much. <laughs>
is this is this a great um, arrangement and event that is actually pretty good for us as well? I can say that this may be one of the, the the better conventions because of the 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 mellowness and the it's it's, it's uh, intimate and personal, I would say, and uh, that's a positive thing. So. Um, I would also like to say that uh, it's amazing to see you guys traveling so far to um, to meet us and to to say how important SCUM is for you guys. And I just want to remind you that SCUM is also very important for us. And the goal, or what what I think is the meaning or the meaning of this is is your feedback and how SCUM is important to you guys and they sometimes changed your life in, in a way. So thank you for coming. Yes. I would just like to say really thank you. Uh, we're very, I mean, we're very grateful for this. Um, it's amazing, it's exciting, and it's overwhelming. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to come here uh, now, to be here now, and uh, this convention makes me feel so emotional and also nervous, yeah, yeah obviously, <laughs> but, um, as you can see, but, um, I really uh, want to um, thank you for all the love who, um, that, you, that, you send, that you send us every day, and that's one of the most beautiful things you can happen in my life, thank you. For us, it's so important to stay here today and to come here in Oslo because uh, we actually uh, realize how big is come and how big is his love and uh, we are part of this beautiful thing, this beautiful project and um, I think the most important thing in life is love and scam is love and we talked about that <laughs> yesterday and we cried <laughs> we cried a lot talking about love and talking about loving people and how much it is important so thank you very much um, i also just want to say thank you and thank you for kind of teaching me also how to be at this convention <laughs> <laughs> And, and for taking so good care of us and just uh, being here um, means a lot and it's been so nice and you're all so nice people, so thank you. I, I feel everybody has said so many times, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I was a bit uh, excited about going into it because I didn't it's my first convention, so I was like, what is this? How do I do this? What do I do? Uh, it's been really nice. Uh, you guys have also made me reflect over things that I haven't thought about before, uh, which is really nice. And I think this has been really cozy. So thank you so much for coming. <laughs> uh, as Lisa said, I didn't know what to expect, but. Uh, I was very nervous, but when I come into the room, I, I, I felt the love right away, and I saw that every one of you was supporting us and was there with us. And I just want to thank you all. I'm very grateful for all the love and all the support you've given us and everything. Thank you. Thank you for everything and um, we are really grateful to be here today and yes, for the love and everything. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> beautiful that's really beautiful like your love your passion for this series uh, th this is really great yeah and I, I really didn't think that I, I would have come here you know 
<laughs> that's <laughs> crazy. Yeah. So, thank so you. Thank, thank you. This is a good experience. Yeah. That's a good experience. Thank you. We didn't do much today. We're <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm uh, really happy because uh, acting in this uh, uh, series, I didn't know really uh, how important uh, it was. Uh, but uh, after the raising, a lot of messages uh, came uh, uh, to us, uh, and um, a lot of people write us that uh, this series uh, solve a lot of problem, personal problem. So. Uh, this series uh, spread uh, love uh, in the world, and I'm part of it, uh, and that, that's amazing. So, thank you. <laughs> so, I cannot say thank you anymore. <laughs> now, um, I think that um, uh, we are in a very important moment of our life. And uh, to meet friends like them, because it's not just uh, about acting. I think it's about um, films, and we have a director that I I think is uh, one of the best I've known, and uh, one of the best I've been working with, and uh, he gave me, me? <laughs> sorry, I totally forgot English, uh, the possibility to know and work with uh, uh, my new friends, and uh, to to know a word that maybe is uh, far, uh, not only in, in the distance, but maybe in the culture and in the way of thinking about things. And this is a way to communicate. And uh, I think we did it good, good communication. I did it. We did it well. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, that we are here to say, uh, I love it. It's, <laughs> And thank you so much for coming, guys. It's wonderful that you're here. Yeah. 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 yeah, and I'm digging you in the pool later. Yeah. Yeah. I have your ass. <laughs> it was such a pleasure that you came. I'm so thankful that you brought all of the crew, well, uh, a lot of the crew with you. And it was so, it's such a huge pleasure meeting all. I think we all can stand for that. So, uh, so, see you guys tomorrow, right? Yeah, yeah alright. All right. So, just a few closing thank you. Just a very few closing words because I can't really talk much if I do, I'm going to start crying, so I'm not going to do it. Um, it's not okay because I'm really going to start crying. I just want to thank my team. Uh, there, I don't even know how many we are, I think like 20. 21. <laughs> yeah, it's been an amazing, 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 amazing thing to organize. And I really want to thank you that you believe in me all the time with crazy ideas and that you really work many, 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 many hours for, well, I wouldn't say nothing, but at least for free. <laughs> this is more than any payment in the world can have given us. So thank you so much for coming. Thank you to the actors for participating in this event. It, thank you for all your hard work on the show and for your interest in even like almost two years later the show has been done. Thank you so much for all of your hard work and your dedication. Do the job. for your love and support and dedication and your interest in coming to the events, um, still being interested in the show and, and spreading love whenever you can. Thank you to everybody who showed up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know Dee already thanked uh, everybody 
who worked on this, um, and I would just like to pass on a huge thank you to Dee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 